Hi everyone, I'm Laura. And I'm Eva. And we are both family mediators who work as a team helping families through the process of divorce and separation. I have a background in mental health and a master's of laws in dispute resolution. And I'm a family lawyer. And we incorporate these additional backgrounds into the style of mediation we practice, which is called co-mediation. This podcast is called Love, Divorce, and Everything in Between. And this particular video shorts editions will be focusing on divorce and separation. Oh, my yellow flower. Just a little, <laughs> a little pop, a nice blazer. Oh, some, some uh, beautiful oh. friend gave it to oh, me. Oh, look at us all ready to. Hi, everyone. Today, we're going to talk about a very important topic. We hear this question all the time, and uh, I think it's important for you to know what financial disclosure is. So I'm going to go right at Eva and ask, Eva, what is financial disclosure? So the law tells us in Ontario that anybody who's going through a separation divorce has to disclose the value of their assets. So that's your bank accounts, your RRSPs, anything in your name, pensions, investments, insurance, and your debts at date of marriage and date of separation. That also includes disclosing your income, all your income sources um, for not only the year that you're separating, but even some past years prior to that. The goal is to make sure that when you are coming to a separation agreement or you're trying to negotiate an agreement, that you both start out understanding each other's financials. That way you can make informed decisions going forward. So in mediation, we hear this question, you know, again, all the time, uh, you, we agreed on everything. Do we really need, why is it important to still go through this financial disclosure? That's right. And so what we tell people is mediation is not the forum to avoid disclosing things, right? It's not the forum to hide um, money or assets. Um, we follow the same rules and regulations that the court system does in terms of coming to the table in a way that is open, honest, and transparent about all of your assets. So Laura, you and me see it all the time. People say, well, we agree on everything. Right. We don't we, we know how we're going to split it. I'm going to keep my pension. He's going to keep his pension. Why do we have to disclose it? And that's a great question. Um, and that's why we would say you have to disclose it even more. So you have to disclose it. So especially if you agree on everything, then it's even more important to this to make sure that you have disclosed everything to protect both of you down the road. So because if you if you decide, you know, if you're coming to an agreement where you keep your own, I keep my own, that's absolutely fine. However, you have to know what those numbers are. So if you're going to talk about numbers, you need to see the numbers. You're both entitled to see the numbers and it protects both of you down the road. It, it actually it adds integrity to any ultimate agreement, your final product that you have had the opportunity. It's telling to anybody who's going to go through it that you've had both the opportunity to negotiate your agreement transparently. And that is the most important piece of why you still have to complete the financial statements, whether you go through mediation or you go through, um, through a different forum. And I think what a lot of people don't know, Laura, is we can help clients do the financial disclosure in mediation. And that saves them a lot of time and money. Uh, by far. And because one of the things that they can do in mediation is they work on the same financial statement together, right. as opposed to in a, in a litigation or in an adversary process where, you know, each their respective lawyers would engage in a back and forth of those uh, completing those financial statements. So it's, it's very, it, it is very true. I, I completely agree. It's, uh, it's very important that they can have the opportunity to do it collaboratively in mediation. I'm Laura. I'm Eva. <laughs>